In this question, we're asked to identify the formula of the species that exist in water when the following compounds are dissolved in water. And we're given whether they are strong or weak acids, or you may know this uh, by memory. So here we have hypochlorous acid, and it's, it's a weak acid. And we want to identify what species are in water when it dissolves. Well, since it's an acid, it's going to react with the water, and the water is going to act like a base. So if we have HClO, aqueous, and we add it to water, liquid, we're going to get an equilibrium reaction. That's probably a bit too long. Where a little bit of this is going to go on to form product, but most of it is going to stay as reactants. So in the equilibrium arrow, I'm drawing the forward reaction short and the reverse reaction long. It's kind of hard to see because I messed it up. I'll do it again on the next one. And what you're going to end up with is H3O plus. So hypochlorous acid acts as an acid and it donates a proton to water, which acts as a base and accepts a proton. We end up with H3O plus aqueous plus what's left, ClO minus aqueous. And we're asked, what of these species are in solution? Well, in this case, since this is weak acid, all four of these things are in solution. So HClO, H2O, H3O plus, and ClO minus. All of them are in solution. There's only a little bit of these two things, but they're probably greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. So therefore, these are all in solutions because it's acidic, so the pH is going to be less than 7. Um, so therefore, the concentration of this must be at least 1 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. Next one, HF, which is a weak acid, aqueous, plus H2O liquid. Again, we have this reversible arrow where the reactants are strongly favored. So I'm drawing the reverse reaction as the larger arrow. We get H3O plus aqueous plus F minus aqueous. Now, as a tip uh, for solving this on Alex, if you copy and paste this, it's easier to paste this down here and change it than it is to rewrite it all, um, if that's helpful. But in this case, we're going to have all four solution, uh, species in solution again. Again, HF acts as an acid. It protonates water. We end up with H3O plus and F minus. Since it's an acid, it's greater than 1 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. So we have to include all of these species. So HF, H2O, H3O plus and F minus, and again, copy and paste uh, seem to work a little bit better. Now we have a different case. We have um, perchloric acid, which is a um, strong acid. So we have HClO4 aqueous, and we add water liquid. In this case, it's essentially not a reversible reaction. So it's a strong acid, so it goes nearly to completion, and we end up with H3O plus aqueous plus ClO4 minus aqueous. Now, this reaction is not reversible. There's a huge excess of water. Said another way, HClO4 is the limiting reagent. So this reaction is going to nearly, or, completely eliminate the HClO4. It's not going to completely eliminate water because there's a huge excess of water, but this will be gone. So all we'll end up with in solution is water, H3O plus, and ClO4 minus. HBr is a similar thing because it's a strong acid. So we have HBr aqueous plus H2O liquid. Again, the forward reaction is favored because it's a strong acid. We get H3O plus aqueous plus Br minus aqueous. Again, there's a huge excess of water, so we're still going to have water around, but we're not going to have any HBr because it's all going to go to form H3O plus and Br minus. So the difference is for the weak acids, the acid is present in aqueous solution. Whether it's HClO or HF, the acid is present in solution. 
what for strong acids, the acid is completely reacted to form H3O plus and the conjugate base minus. So the acid, the original acid, is not present in solution. The other things are essentially the same, water, H3O plus, and the conjugate base.